All right, Sagittarius, here we go. This is the Soulmate Cycle Energies Update for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for February 2022. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. You probably did. Ah, uh, I got my pre-shuffle here. I talked to the universe. I'll show it to you. I, I, we had a chat. I said, uh, give me the Soulmate Cycle from the angle of Sagittarius for February 2022. All right? It wasn't a big chat, you know. It's just that, and then I pull some cards. If it, if the chat ran any longer, I would recommend a cat scan for myself. But I, it's fine. It was nothing like that. Um. Okay. I got the Ace of Pentacles at the top of your reading, crossed by the uh, Three of Wands. Okay. So something you've been waiting for a long time is coming soon. Oh. Okay. But it's coming with conflict attached to it. I see this a lot. I saw this in the overview reading for February. I saw this in the hotspot reading for Cancer. Different decks, by the way. Not this deck. Um, and that's slowing it down a little bit. Hangman. Somebody's on the fence because of a conflict or because of con something conflicting within themselves or a conflict of interest within their life. It can go either way. Which is why it's been going so slow. But it is almost here. Because judgment is bookending the Ace of Pentacles. Which is, you know, a resurrection, Phoenix rising from the ashes, someone from the past coming into the present to affect your future. I'm just confused by the energy. I'm confused by this Five of Wands and why it's jamming things up such a weak energy. You know, let's find out. Let's see where we go. Slowing things down, jamming it up, traffic jam, if you will. Okay, let's see. Let's give the deck a shuffle here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Sagittarius for February 2022. Let's see where we go. Give this deck a shuffle. The first card out is going to be before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? It's my why the fuck are we here position, and it's crossed by the overall energy of the reading after the final shuffle. So it's best to keep that in mind. So let's find out why we're here, Sagittarius. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Lice. It's all lies. Yeah. Seven of uh, Swords. We're here because of the Seven of Swords. That Five of Wands is, a v in a very big way, somebody's been trying to sneak away or somebody's been just bullshitting themselves and believing what they were cooking. Okay? Eating their own cooked shit. All right, let's see. Mm, let's find out what comes after it. Yep. It's that person. It's judgment. And now they want to redeem themselves. Some sort of redemption here. Mm, that's probably why they're on the fence. Mm, again, judgment's come up twice already in this reading. You're lucky to see judgment once in a reading. Mm, judgment don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. This is a pretty damn serious connection here. All right, this is God's source, the universe itself. You have to get past judgment to get to the world, which is where you move up to another level after the world to a fool. Yes, you kick back to the fool, but on a new level. You learn your lessons. If you don't learn your lessons, you don't pass judgment, you get kicked back to the beginning on the same level, back to the fool again, and to repeat the lessons. Two judgments tells me somebody's headed your way because of some sort of redemption for Seven of Swords behavior. Okay. Let's see where we go. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Sagittarius for February 2022. Give me a reading, universe. And it knows what I mean by that. Give me a reading. Let's see where we go. I think this is going to be a good one. I like this. I like this energy. I love redemption. I, I like that kind of energy where somebody, it, because it's, it's sort of justice for you, Sagittarius, in a way, you know? Somebody's obviously been full of shit here, either to themselves, to you, or to the people around them. Um, it's judgment time, and you get to kind of do that. You got a little power here, Saggy. What's going on? Give me a reading, universe. Remember, this card, this one at the bottom here, is... <laughs> Oh my God, I, I can't even believe this. This card, the bottom card, is the overall energy, okay, of our reading. But it crosses the Seven of Swords 
from before the cut, which is lies. Oh, oh, lies, right? The card that crosses it, that's our overall energy, is the card of truth. The Ace of Swords. It's Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. Unbelievable. Ace of Swords crossing Seven Swords is someone getting fucking real. That's why judgment came after it. The second judgment. Yeah, everything I told you is true. You're, you're, you, you're in a position of power. This is good for you. You get to end up with some kind of justice here at the end of the road. What's crossing this, I wonder? Five swords. Again, deception. A false victory. Self-sabotage. Someone is realizing the truth about their, their false deceptive behavior. This is sandwiched between. Imagine we had the seven of swords here. Okay? The seven of swords is here at the bottom. I then cross it with that. The truth. And I then cross it with that, which are the false victories that it, again, it's sandwiched in the middle is truth. So somebody's getting real. This is fucking beautiful. This is going to be a fucking hell of a reading. Okay. Our reading's on the flip. And it's funny that at the bottom is kind of self-deception or, or self-sabotage. Mm, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their, their deception caused a lot of sabotage here. And they did it to themselves. We got truth here, though. Truth landing on the table. Here's the energy around your connection. Here's how your person feels and their emotions. 3D shit. I'll dig in. Right here's how they feel in the soul about you specifically, but soul energy in general. Uh, not what they show you or tell you in the 3D, which we now know has been complete bullshit. Uh, the hidden energy here is a message from the universe. I'll tell you what she says. It's red with the energy of the connection. And right here's the potential final outcome. I will clarify everything. I will throw some universe cards over the top, and if I think we need to extend it, I will. If I don't, it means we got everything here, or if it's just a little bit, I'll throw a little side reading here for you. I'm not here to nickel and dime anybody. I'm here to study a soulmate connection and maybe help a few people. The whole reading is clarifying someone getting fucking real, and you, you getting some redemption. You really do. It's a reconciliation energy, yes, but it's redemption. What the hell? This is beautiful. What's the energy around the connection right now? First card out after Ace of Swords. Son of a bitch. Queen of Swords. She knows the truth, speaks the truth, is the truth. This whole fucking reading is clarifying truth, and I just threw truth. <laughs> Thank you. Even the bird laughed. And he a Pisces, you know. Uh, truth. Yeah, so, so you're going to learn the truth. This is redemption for you. Somebody is speaking the truth. You don't know how rare that is in this world, by the way. This is very rare energy that I'm reading, okay? People don't speak the truth. Um, how do they feel in their emotions right now? Please don't give me another truth card. Okay. Uh, the nine, nine of Pentacles. Uh, I can't take another truth card. You can't handle the truth. All right, right here. The uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is finding themselves. Somebody, it is. It's an energy of independence. If they were with a third party, they're finding their independence from it. Either leaving them or not leaving them. You can still find your independence within a relationship. In fact, independence is required for a good relationship. Either way, how they feel in their emotions is somebody's, somebody's coming into their own. They're getting their shit together. I don't know how else to phrase it. They're certainly getting real with the truth. How do they feel in the soul about you? How do they feel in their soul? 5D. Page of Wands. A lot of passion and they want to talk to you. They feel small next to you as well. Probably because of all that Seven of Swords behavior. All that Five of Swords behavior as well. Probably because usually people have to swallow some crow. We're seeing it a lot here as we head into February. We saw it a lot in the end of January readings. People are having to swallow some crow here, some pride. Mm. In the soul, though, this person wants to talk to you, and they have a lot of passion for you. This is passion when it appears here. But it, it's small. They feel less than toward you. And again, it's probably because of all that deception. Hidden energy read with the Queen of Swords. What is it? What's the universe want you to know, Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. Somebody is doing this because they're standing up and doing what's right for them. They've re I said right here, they found their independence. Take that however it resonates with you. Take it however it fits. But when someone finds their independence, 
when someone grows a pair can I phrase it like that they stand up and do what they and do what's best for them absolutely they do um, and we see it here the energy right now is ripe for some truth to be told and there's a lot of passion in the soul truth and passion can sometimes turn into a bit of a spat be careful about that I know that rhymed but I didn't mean it to okay right here is the potential final outcome it's red with the nine of Pentacles technically this is beautiful King of Cups when this falls here it's communication again it's tempered communication it's tempered communication the King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups a little bit stingy with how he passes it out they're nervous about it a little bit like I said passion and truth can sometimes land in a little bit of a spat so be careful they're gonna fall somewhere down the middle in the how much of the ace of cups they reveal but you got most of you can't say all it's not possible too many people watch it but most of you have communication coming here something you've been waiting for a long time as we learned in the pre-shuffle somebody's I'm impressed with this person's energy I am let's clarify as soon as the cards cooperate why is the why is the Queen of Swords here tell me about the Queen of Swords energy of the connection King of Swords this is a reading from a different deck I got the Queen of Swords crossed by the King of Swords for uh, Scorpio I believe from a different deck so you can't say oh but you didn't shuffle mm -hmm. it's a different deck this is amazing you might want to watch the Scorpio reading okay I'm just going to tell you I don't care if you don't know a Scorpio this ain't your horoscope this is tarot I'm pulling from energy don't get astrology and tarot mixed up god don't fucking do that I got enough videos explaining the difference between the two over in my mailbag the bottom line here that's a coincidence no such thing you might want to watch the Scorpio video uh, the King of Swords and Queen it's a slightly different message for the most part but who knows there might be something in there for you King of Swords Queen of Swords uh, crossing here this is this, this shits happening okay uh, you're both got you both have something to say you both do okay and, it, and I feel the energy here where it might turn into a spat I do feel that and I already warned you about that Pat, mixing passion with truth can sometimes turn into a spat and the king and queen of swords as a couple spat quite a bit okay so be, be aware of that but this person is doing what they feel is best for them because they finally sort of grew a pair here the reason it's all happening is because of regret five of cups regret and sadness over the past or what happened here or all the lies they told we're here the why the fuck are we here card is the seven of swords that's deception uh, they certainly if they've realized the truth have some regrets over that deception whether it was self-deception or deception at you hang man yeah yeah it's it's give it's gives them it gives them pause it, it's it's a card of a whole new perspective on what happened in the past the, the hangman is here because of the five of cups I ask why is the five of cups here the hangman because they got a new perspective on what the fuck happened here on their deception the seven of swords that but why the fuck are we here before the cut you got to remember that card I put it back in the deck in case it wants to come back that's why I don't leave it out all right in, in the main reading actually I could have taken it out excuse me. Uh, it's an important card to our reading because our reading is about truth someone realizing the truth in order to understand that you have to understand that they were first deceptive all right the nine of uh, Pentacles why is it here and, and how they feel why is it here this is someone find growing a pair I think growing a pair is the best way to put it finding their footing I don't know why is the nine of Pentacles here because <laughs> of you two of cups the soulmate connection did it the soulmate connection did it it truly did soulmate connection saved this person's life I believe it right there the Emperor they're taking control 
They're taking control of things. The Burger King is realizing they serve bad food. The health department came in and shut them down and said, you need to fix this up, in my opinion. I have to say, in my opinion. I'm actually talking about the Burger King, the out of balance emperor, who's got to have it their way, right? Well, this person realized they're not going to get it their way, and they've been lying to themselves the whole time that, well, it's either my way or the highway. Well, that was a lie. That's, that's, that's not true. It's deception. It's not your way or the highway. And you didn't get Sagittarius, did you? No, of course not, because you're an idiot. Right here is the two of wands. Now, now that they've got, they've found their way, they've got their footing, they grew a pair, they realize they're not going to get it their way, now they set the intention to leave that behind, leave one wand behind and go toward a whole new life, a whole new thing. They're coming in. I see it for most most of them, not all, most of them, that's the best I can tell you. But this is communication here, although it is tempered communication. The King of Cups, they're in their fields, but the King of Cups doesn't share the whole thing. And that could cause a fight. This tempering the Ace of Cups, because he holds the Ace of Cups, tempering that cup of love with passion in the soul and truth out of the mouth, uh, can lead to a spat or two. I wouldn't be surprised. But they're, they're, they're setting the intention. They're on the way. This is 3D. This is realized. Right here is the uh, Page of Wands. Passion in the soul. A little bit of passion. They feel a little bit less than, probably because of all that deception. They know that emotionally you're probably higher up the evolutionary scale than they are. Why is the uh, Page of Wands here? That's the page of wands here. That's why. It's all that deception. They feel less... It's what I just told you. Sometimes I talk and the universe backs me up. Sometimes it puts egg in my face. Today, backing me up. It's the seven of swords. It's the deception card. It's the very why the fuck are we here card. And it's crossing in their soul this, this passion. They were denying this for a long time. I don't think they still are. And they're not. Knight of Wands. Moving on from it. Passionate. Passion. Passion. Lies. Crossing it. They lied for a long time about the passion. Now the passion's moving forward. A Knight of Wands. Right? Forward movement. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands reversed. Mm-hmm. Nine, Nine of Wands reversed. They've given up. They've given up what? Deception. Well, that makes sense because the whole reading is clarifying the sword of truth, which was crossing this anyway. Because this was our card before the cut. This person's getting real. This is this just shit's getting real, Sagittarius. Alright. Uh, Seven of Wands. Standing up and the universe tells me that they're standing up and doing what's right for them. Alright? This card has a lot of meanings, the Seven of Wands. It, it can mean that, standing up and doing what's right. It can mean someone who's defensive. It can mean someone who's got the high ground. It can also mean someone who's stubborn. In this case here, it is the standing up and doing what's right for the meaning. All right, and, it, and we see it here. It's red with these cards. They want to speak some truth here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? What else you want to tell Scorpio? Or Sagittarius, I mean. I'm sorry. See? Freudian slip. You should watch that Scorpio reading. You should. Different deck. You know, it's not the same deck, so you don't have to worry about that. I think I did their message from the universe at the end with this deck. But that was it. Three cards. Um, Seven of Wands. What else you want to tell Sagittarius? Seven Pentacles. Again, this is something they figured out from the hangman. From taking stock. From looking back. This is something they figured out while they had a dark night of the soul. And they did. I believe they did. And they felt a lot of sadness at the end of it. Oh God, what have I done? I was an asshole. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Might have been. It's just a way of paraphrasing it. Right here, the uh, Page of Cups. Yeah. It's what downgrades them to a little bit. It's the same problem Scorpio's person had. It, they got downgraded to a page a little bit in the baseline energy. Because they feel, they feel small. They've been lying to themselves. It's embarrassing on some level to have to admit to somebody that you've been full of shit to yourself or to them. 
It's always embarrassing on some level, so the page is there. They're, they're coming with a little apology for you and a, maybe a test message, right? Make sure you're still in. I don't know. It might be more than that. I think it's more than that. I think they're coming with some truth. But they're definitely showing up with the tail between their legs. They are a sad horse. And right here, the Six of Pentacles, right there. The hangman made them see the light. This is a card of generosity, but it's also a card of balanced energy. All right, they're coming to fix things because it's the right thing to do is what the universe is basically saying. Because they've realized the truth. Remember, the Seven of Swords was crossing in the soul here. And they've given up on, on that deception. The, I ask, the Nine of Wands reversed is someone giving up. Right? Letting down the defenses. Fuck it. I'm done. Right? Well, I, the, it's, it's here because I ask, why is the Knight of Wands here? Why are they moving forward now with the passion instead of the deception that's crossing? Because they let go of the deception. Because they gave up. That's why. This card always ties to the crossing card a lot more than this one does. This card always ties to the card that it's sitting on a lot more. Just to explain my readings to you a little better. Okay? So, so you see more. All right, uh, King of Cups. Final outcome, King of Cups. It's communication. It's that someone in their fields, someone who's realized some truths here, holds the Ace of Cups, very stingy about giving it. Okay? As some would say, one foot on land, one foot in water, or one leg on land, one leg in water, or dick on land, and... I don't know, head in water. I have no idea. <laughs> However you want to phrase it, it's stingy about giving the damn cup. Give me the final final on this. What's crossing this king of cups? What is it? Yeah, victory. They're, listen, every fucking message here in this reading is somebody coming in and doing... It's, it's just all about what the universe said here. Coming in and doing what's, what's, what's right. Because they realized the truth, they figured it out, and, it, and they realize what an ass they've been. And right here. Coming with the tail between their legs to make things right. Whatever that means to you. It's a general reading. Apply it. The, the, as, as a general can, can apply to everybody. And again, your person can still use their free will to not come in. So I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. I'm not sugarcoating. It's all right here. For a good chunk of you, they're coming in for transformation and victory. Because they've realized some truths. Everything's tied together. The readings all tie together. Your readings, my readings, everybody's readings. They have to all tie together. Because <sighs> life does. We're all connected. What's on top here? Coming in. Again, communication from the emperor, which is something you probably thought would never fucking happen in a million years. Burger King's going to call you and tell you their whopper, that your Whopper's ready. Okay. You're like, holy shit, Burger, Mom, Burger King just called and said I have a Whopper ready. Are you serious? Yeah. That's what's happening. All right. My little slack jaw reenactment there. It's perfect story. All right. And he's thrilled about that. He lives with his mother. That's fucking crazy. Anyway, Eight of Wands, communication from the King of Wands or from the King of Cups. King of Cups is going to talk. And that's who I don't see here. I don't see a King of Wands. Not yet. I might pull it there. I don't know. But it's beautiful. The King of Cups and you are having a conversation. Some truths are getting revealed. Somebody with their tail between their legs wanting to make things right. Because they realize their deceptions. At the soul level, mind you, because of a dark night of the soul. Which is right here in this card. The whole reading is Archangel Michael's sword of truth. It's an energy of reconciliation, but it's an energy of redemption for you, as I said in the beginning. You're getting some kind of redemption here. A hallelujah moment. Okay? Not necessarily because you end up with this person, but just because you were right the whole time. Huh? How about that? How about a little justice for Sagittarius? What's the final final on this here? That's nice. It's the Hierophant. Again, there's a spiritual awakening here. I think with the Hierophant falling here, okay? Even though the King of Cups is a bit stingy about giving out that Ace of Cups, I think if the conversation goes well, the universe is saying this, is, this can go long term. This is a very spiritual connection. If anybody can make this person give the full cup and not just a half or a quarter, it's you, Sagittarius. 
That's what the universe is saying. Because your energy is fucking attached to that. Straight up. This is the static energy. This is your energy. It's not your person turning into the Hierophant. It's you are the Hierophant. And that's kind of what they're coming to tell you. Uh, you know, I can't say specifically what they're going to say, but that's the theme of what's going on here. Some truths are going to be spoken. It's a little redemption for you. It's nice. Let's pull three cards from the universe. What else you want to tell Sagittarius before we go here? I'm not going to extend this. There's no reason to. It's all here. It's cut and dry. It's, there's nothing. I like my extendeds to be an hour long and, you know, give people a good bang for their nickel. This would be a five-minute extended at best and be mostly us talking about baseball or something. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing to talk about here. It's pretty straightforward. And I ain't here to nickel and dime nobody. Give me uh, three cards, universe. What else you want to tell Sagittarius? Three cards and a bottom card. Or three cards, yeah, three cards and a crossing card, I should say. What else you want to tell Sagittarius? Here we go. Saggy, Saggy, Saggy. The Six of Wands come back again. I think we saw it once before somewhere. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, strength card. I feel like we've seen it. Uh, and the Seven of Cups. Wow, these are very similar to the cards that... I know where I saw this before. These are very similar to the cards that I pulled for Scorpio when I used this deck. Right here, the Five of Pentacles crossing this. They're not the same, but they're very similar. Okay? Uh, that's pretty wild. That's unreal. Uh, anyway, it's a similar energy. I don't know. I don't remember what the cards were, but the energy is pretty similar. The message is the same. Regardless, you might want to check out the Scorpio video just for shits and giggles. Uh, there's some good tips on it anyway. Um, five of Pentacles crossing the... Uh, 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 strength card here. This is um, <clears throat> this is someone who is again. It's sort of a, a wounded lion, is the way to phrase it. Who's coming in for victory? A little bit confused. The person is aware of the what the universe is trying to tell you here. Don't you be confused because this person is aware of the truth. They're aware of why they're coming in. But it really is a risk. They really see it as some kind of risk. And this lion's carrying one of the roses from the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups was crossing over here on the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, they've gotten their shit together. Yes, they've gotten their footing. They're coming in for victory, but they're not quite sure exactly where it's going to lead to. And that makes sense. I'll tell you why. Because the, the King of Cups here, he doesn't give the full cup. All right, they're going to give you just, again, they're showing up more as a page, a little apology, just trying to, you know, let you know because they've had some epiphanies here. They've realized the sadness. They know the truth. They want to speak the truth. It's in talking to you. The universe is hammering this home. It's in talking to you that, where the confusion goes away because they're coming in because they realize they're out in the cold, the Five of Pentacles, and they want to come out of the cold, no doubt about it, right? Mm-hmm. But again, I get a message here underneath the Two of Pentacles. They're not really sure if, if it's going to work or if you're just going to tell them to fuck off or not. They don't know. This person is a, is a fence sitter. So what they're doing is they're playing it down the middle a little bit. They're just making a decision to come out of the cold. And wherever it ends up, it ends up. It's really up to you is what I'm trying to say. And that's what the universe is trying to say here. So again, you've got options here when this person comes in. Uh, but you also have the power to really open them up and finish their little dark night of the soul. Put the frosting on the cake, if you will. Okay? That's your reading. This is nice. It's going to be a good month for you. I'll keep an eye on it, and I will do the uh, in, any uh, energy updates as needed if it changes. Okay? Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Alright? I hope this reading was helpful. It's a good reading. I like it. I like I like this energy here. Nice to see some redemption coming your way. All right. Good luck.